Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. Wednesday, March the 3rd, 2021. And I am using my periodic table mug. I think I've shown you this one before. This is literally, where does it say? Periodic table of the elements. I know, it's good, isn't it? We are going to start with 1,144 random and interesting facts that you need to know. And the first one was to do with elements. So there is a metal called gallium, G-A-L-L-I-U-M, that melts in your hand. Did you know that? Um, 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 um. Bruce Lee's reflexes were so fast that he could snatch a quarter off a person's open palm and replace it with a penny before they could close their fist. Wowzers. Turophobia is the fear of cheese. I can't really imagine that, but there's one for jam, isn't there? And there's one for clowns. Have, have you got a phobia? Let me know in the comments section. I don't like sponges. There you go. I'm not so bad with natural sponge, but synthetic sponge and foam, you know, like foam sheets that you might walk on or I don't know, they have them in cheap sofas or whatever. Ugh, can't stand it. According to a study done by McEwen University in Canada, playing video games before bedtime actually gives a person the ability to control their dreams. I will tell this to the boy. It also suggests that gamers are more likely to have lucid dreams as opposed to non-gamers. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Watermelons, <laughs> my eyes have gone big. Watermelons contain an ingredient called citrulline, C-I-T-R-U-L-L-I-N-E, that can trigger the production of a compound that help relax the body's blood vessels just like Viagra. I know. Crocodiles cannot stick out their tongues or chew. I'm not sure that they need to, but yes. Okay, I like that, that was great. We are using tarot of the haircuts today. Yes, in homage <laughs> to lockdown and, well, here in the UK anyway. Let me know what's happening where you are. Here in the UK, we're still, um, we're still at it for another, at least month, aren't we? So I thought I'd get tarot of the haircuts out. I've got a couple of new decks on the way and I am extremely excited. Extremely excited. Also, I want to give a shout out as well. Do you remember that I had that issue in the comments section that was really annoying with somebody spamming and a couple of tarot readers, I reached out and they really helped me really quickly. Um, and I've kind of touch wood resolved it. So I just want to say thank you to Secret Tarot and also Eliza Jane Tarot. And um, thank you to you because you are the people who recommended that I get in touch with them. And you were right, okay? They were great. They responded and they gave me solutions and yeah, I feel a whole lot better about it. So thank you very much to them. Okay, tarot of the old path or the haircuts. Oh, crumbs, two fours already. Two fours already. I see spiky. Eesh. And I see competition. Right. We start off and look at that. That is what might happen in about a month's time if this continues and lockdown carries on. I may be coming on wearing this head attire, okay? Or a straw hat or a baseball cap or whatever. Four of pentacles, somebody wants to keep it this way. It's, in its positive sense, it's sun in Capricorn and the ability to invest and bank <coughs> and be Saturnian about things and keep things quite steady and keep building and storing your nuts, as it were. But with the Four of Pentacles in the kind of, and I'm feeling this, in the sort of downside of it, is when you get grabby and tight and a bit, 
you know, I always think of this as pack lunches at school and remember this when somebody would all be eating packets of crisps because it was the 80s and it was just a wagon wheel, a packet of crisps and a jam sandwich. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? The most unhealthy, terrible pack lunches. And then somebody would go for someone else's really chemical prawn cocktail crisps. And as they put their hand to the bag, that person would grab the bag so that the person couldn't get their fingers in and they just like growl at them. That was my school pack lunch experience. Tell me about yours in the comment section. Um, and that's what happens to us when we get on the downside, on the negative side of the four of pentacles. We get, we get pack lunch growly, okay? Pack lunch growly, Urgh, that kind of energy, itchy nose. And then alongside it, the nine of swords. The Nine of Swords, oh, the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords, and particularly in this reading, I think, is perceived slights. So in other words, you've always got the Nine Swords above the head because it's kind of in your head. I call it the wolf hour or the 4 a.m. card or the time when you are very creative in making stuff up, I suppose. Now, there's always a grain of truth because there's normally a grain of truth in everything, okay, with the Nine of Swords. So it's not that you're just completely in fantasy land and Seven of Cups in it, but in the Nine of Swords, you're, you're, you're up in your head and the energy is very zzzz. And, you know, I've said several times on this channel, the best advice a friend gave me is most of your thoughts at 4 a.m. are just nonsense. You know, if they're negative, just think to yourself, I strike this from the record and I'll, I'll, you know, this is for tomorrow's Gemma to worry about. Okay, strike it from the record. Then we have the 10 of wands in reverse. And what I'm noticing about this reading is there's a lot of thorns and brambles and spikes and, and bits and bobs, but this is in the reverse. Now we had this a couple of days ago, didn't we? With the um, Lightseer's Tarot. This is where you, you drop the burden. So in other words, anxiety builds to a certain point and I feel it could be jealousy, envy, competition to do with somebody at work or the way that work is divided or it can be in relationship as well, the way that love is divided, okay? You feel grabby, you want it, you wanna keep yours. Because we've got two queens in this reading We've got this cool, calm and collected and Princess Leia looking Queen of Swords. This is a look I may be rocking soon. I'm, I'm very drawn to this. It may involve a couple of donuts and a hairnet, but we will see. And then we have this feisty Queen of Wands in the background and she's in reverse. When I get the Queen of Wands in reverse in a reading, very often, I get the Queen of Swords, but very often, there is an interloper or there is the, the sort of, do you remember we had the Queen of Bedlam the other day from um, Brian and Wendy Frude's Heart of the Fairy Oracle? She's the person who causes chaos. She likes to just pull a string and then watch it fall apart. And you can see her on the sidelines like, oh dear, you know, that kind of passive, aggressive, putting her finger in the pie, stirring the pot. It's that kind of energy. So there may be a person like that in your life, in the periphery. It could be a work colleague, it could be a friend, it could be a love rival, whoever it is, it's somebody who likes to wind you up in the very old fashioned sense of the word, okay? For a lot of you, this is to do with work. Seven of pentacles, I've come this far, is it worth me keeping on putting effort into this person, situation, um, is it, for some of you, is it worth me keeping on putting effort into this jealousy, into this insecurity, into this nightmare maelstrom that keeps going around my head that's keeping me awake, that's worrying me? Can I, can I, I mean, it takes energy to keep that going. And it may be with the 10 of wands in reverse and the seven of pentacles that you're starting to think, you know, let the worst happen then if it's going to. Stuff it, stick a fork in this one, I am done. It's that energy. And that energy is very liberating, okay? And then we get, and I really love this, and please identify the bird if you can, justice. 
I just love this because that is an old path and this is Tarot of the Old Path. I actually really like this deck actually, actually, actually. Justice, okay, there is divine justice in this. They will get theirs. I know we're not supposed to think that and I know we're supposed to rise above it, but boy, isn't it just good to know in the middle of the reading, six of wands, okay? Karma will triumph on this one. This person will get theirs and you will get yours, okay? And you don't need, <laughs> funny card to get, you don't need to be grabby and four of pentacles-y about it. And we get round and round. And what I'm taking this to be is the karmic wheel. What goes around comes around. And I don't say that often, actually. It's not something, there are two sentences that can slightly irritate me. One is everything happens for a reason. I'm not so sure about that. And what goes around comes around. Sometimes it doesn't. But <laughs> I'm feeling it does in this reading. I'm getting that, okay? It's not a normal statement for me to make. Yes. Divine Guidance, Healing with the Angels, Oracle card. Yes, Divine Guidance and Divine Justice, but also new love for some of you. I like this, because for some of you, this might be to do with an ex or looking at social media or wondering why they've moved on or, you know, wishing them all the best, that kind of energy, but you will get yours, okay? And they will get theirs. Leave me a comment, let me know how it resonates and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.